Seismic Dance Event Spring Edition. I'm here with Kirion. Did I say that correctly? Yes. There's been different kind of speculation about how to say mm -hmm. your artist name. How do you say it correctly? Kirion. Kirion. Yeah. Got it. So like I said, you always want to make sure you're saying people's names correctly. I was watching your Instagram stories, and you're an Austin resident, but you mm -hmm. were doing Austin things last night. Yeah. Looking at her Instagram story, she had this giant yellow snake just wrapped around her. <laughs> it just looked like Britney Spears. <laughs> All like, tell us about that. Yeah, it was on the sixth street. Uh huh. There was a guy holding the like big snakes, like two snakes. There's yeah. like. Mid, like medium and heavy one and then it was like 20 bucks for <laughs> like so, so you paid someone money yeah so i'm terrified of snakes that's why i think i'm like breaking out i think i'm sweating right now even talking about it snakes just terrify me so to see you doing that are you kind of a fearless person do you kind of just do anything like all different types of adventures yeah i want to do like like the stuff i've never done before really like I want to do bungee jump. Really? Yeah, or skydiving. You're talking about all the things that I have fears about. <laughs> well, talk, take us through your set. You just mm -hmm. played here. This yeah. is obviously, you've been to a seismic dance event before. Mm -hmm. Is this your first time? Uh, it's actually second time to second play. Second time? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And how was, how was this different than the one before? I played at the first one, and it was at some like a newspaper. Mm -hmm. Oh, the was Statesman. It? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But like this was the first time playing at the concourse as a, a seismic yeah. DJ. So. And what's been the biggest change from you? And like, would you say just as yourself as an artist from then till now? I think since my music style changed a little bit, it was more like ambient, like a melodic house, and now I make more dance stuff. Mm -hmm. So yeah, the set I play is more different. I think, yeah, like so a can, more houseable. Can, can you take people that maybe aren't as familiar? I'm familiar with your story, yeah. but just how you got started in music, because I just, it, she has one of the most unique stories about how you got started and then just your evolution mm -hmm. until today. But if you can share that with people. Okay. Yeah, it's actually really stupid. <laughs> it's not stupid yeah. though, it's no, so interesting. It, it's, it's actually <laughs> stupid, because, um, because, <laughs> um, so I made my online plan on Twitter, like, when I was 20 or 21, mm -hmm. and he said, like, I have a show in San Francisco at Public Works. So if you want to play for free, like, I cannot cover any, like, flights or hotel, but if you want to play in US for the first time, you can do it. So I'm like, okay, I got to go. And then I paid a flight ticket with, and made a loan because I was so broke. And I play on the stage. And my friends took. Uh, do you remember buying like a six second like a? Oh yes, yes, yes. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's like a before TikTok. Mm -hmm. So someone, my friends took buying of me dancing on the stage, and it go bust. And my agency like hit me up, and yeah. And I that's why you so you went like yeah. viral on Vine. Yeah, and then, oh wow, the evolution. And then here you are. <laughs> yeah. And so what's you're an Austin resident, right? But like I know we've kind of missed we kept missing each other because yeah. you're flying all over the world. What about Austin is home for you? Like why why did you choose Austin? Because I feel really settled. I used to live in San Francisco for like six years, and it was really fun, party like all the time. But I didn't feel like I'm actually like stay here and like make like work on myself to be a better person. And yeah, and since like I've been sober, I needed a place to like chill. Uh -huh. So Austin is like a good place for me. I love that, Austin. I think that you just described Austin. I think. It's the best chill, chill vibe, and I'm sure you hear the, you feel the community here yeah. is much different than I'm sure all the other places you've been as well. Mm -hmm. So May is Mental Health Awareness Month. Uh -huh. What do you do to take care of your mental health? I think there are many ways to do. Like depends on people. Mine was like going to therapy, yeah, mm -hmm. like, uh, once a week. Yeah, and then see like what I experienced, what I look like from the other perspective. Really? Yeah. So. Oh, wow. 
Amazing. Well, what's coming up for you? I know you said you're we're working on new music. Are you still touring or what are you excited about that's coming up? Yeah, I just um Asia tour. So now I'm kind of listening and working on new music, but yeah, there's festival coming on in a, like August, mm -hmm. December, so yeah. Exciting. Mm -hmm. Well, you've got another set. Mm -hmm. So how does that work when you have two sets on the same day? Do you try to change the vibe or do you have any kind of like plan for that or you just kind of play to the crowd? Yeah, I think that first set was at, on the main stage and it was opener set. And second one, it's gonna be patio, and I think it's gonna be more like warehousey, like mm -hmm. progressive vibe. Exciting. So, yeah, I'm gonna play more harder. Well, thank you so much for being here. It's so great to finally see you. We've been missing each other, yeah. so I'm still terrified. Stay away from the snakes. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you so much for being thank here. You. I'm excited to see your next set, and have a great rest of your weekend. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay.